Pre-diabetes, a chance to prevent type 2 diabetes. Five years ago, we left our village to find work in the city. In some ways, life became easier. Instead of the hard work of farming, I rode to work and sat all day in an office. On my way home, I got fast food. It was so convenient. I used to buy a lot of snack food and sweetened drinks at the supermarket. It tasted good and filled us up. But I noticed I was gaining weight, especially around my waist. One day, I went to a diabetes screening at the local clinic. The health worker checked my blood sugar and the result was a little high. She said since my fasting blood sugar was between 100 and 125, I have pre-diabetes. People don't have symptoms when they have pre-diabetes, but this was a warning. The health worker told me that too much sugar in my blood damages blood vessels and nerves throughout my body. If I went on to develop diabetes, it would affect nearly every aspect of my health. I was so surprised. I thought I was young and healthy. It was a wake-up call. I immediately thought about my uncle who has diabetes and lost his leg. I didn't want to end up like him. The health worker asked me about my eating habits. I learned that the food I was eating was not healthy. She advised that I eat plenty of vegetables, some healthy protein foods like fish, eggs or beans, and only a fist-sized portion of starch because starch turns into sugar in the body. I should try to stay away from sweets and junk food. I also needed to get physical activity for half an hour every day. These steps would help me lose weight and reverse prediabetes. These were sensible changes and I wanted to make them part of my life. I went food shopping with my grandmother. When she grew up, there was no processed food. She could point out what was healthy and what was not. It turned out that the supermarket didn't have much healthy food. She took me to our local market and I started shopping there. I was able to find the healthy food I grew up with. Plenty of fresh vegetables, fruit, and beans. I started to cook at home again, which my children loved. We began to eat more vegetables and beans and less starch. I stopped buying junk food and sugary drinks. The changes I made were healthy for my whole family. The motivation for me was to watch my children grow and be there for them. I still took a ride to work, but I got off earlier and walked 15 minutes each way. It may sound dramatic, but it's like I was running for my life. I came back to the clinic after three months. I had lost weight, especially around my waist. The results of my fasting blood sugar test were normal, less than 100. You really can reverse prediabetes. I feel better and healthier and I have a whole new life ahead of me. Remember, prediabetes is a warning and an opportunity. Learn and make changes in your lifestyle. You can prevent diabetes.